Um, it happened again, this time in Kansas City, natural gas explosion, uh, one dead confirmed. Um, popular restaurant blown into oblivion. It now is beginning to look like this leak uh, had been leaking maybe for weeks. And according to the Associated Press, hours before the explosion, witnesses reported a strong smell of gas. Firefighters were summoned to the scene, but left without ordering an evacuation. That's odd. Anyway, search crews, uh, <clears throat> when the cleanup got underway today, they found, found one body. And the mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, worried that the debris could be concealing other victims. Now, the, the, according to reports, the explosion occurred after a construction crew apparently struck a natural gas line touching off a blast that could be felt for nearly a mile. And <clears throat> the, uh, before we bra uh, blame the construction crew or, or, or put sole responsibility for this on the construction crew, are you aware? It, it hasn't occurred to me until today. It takes something like this. I remember when the explosion occurred in the uh, in uh, California, Kate Petrini wrote to me. Was that was that in San Francisco? I forget where the the one of the more recent ones. And uh, we were talking about the reality of what's under and not that far under our, our city streets and parks and business districts and subway systems and elevated train systems. What's down there? And what is down there, and it's getting more and more and more of it down there, are transmission lines for natural gas, oil. And I, I don't think we have to even consider for a moment the fact that the uh, petroleum industry uh, doesn't really give a rat's ass about the safety of these pipes, only insofar as it can protect them from lawsuits. Um. So it's not just Kansas City, Missouri. It's, it's just about every city in America. There is this, this network of, of pipes and uh, transmission lines that, that just helter-skelter under everything. Uh, and what are we going to do about it? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do about it. There's going to be more and more and more of it. The natural gas... I don't want to say explosion, but uh, the natural gas um, um, discoveries, the, the, the fracking technique, all of this is, is very close to making the U.S. totally energy independent. You see, it has nothing to do with Republicans screaming uh, or Democrats uh, promising, oh, we'll work on it. Uh, you know, some of the biggest lies in America is that there's an energy crisis here. There is not an energy crisis here. There never has been. The uh, people who use energy in this country, even with gasoline now hovering around $4 a gallon, we pay some of the lowest prices on earth. Okay, not Venezuela, but you know what I'm talking about. But we are a net exporter. What is uh, Prairie 2 written how many times about how much gasoline, a byproduct of the refinery, uh, refinery process of well, how much gasoline we export? And, and by the way, uh, just keep in mind this XL, a Keystone XL pipeline is, is not about servicing American uh, uh, requirements for uh, oil. It has nothing to do with you and me. Please stop listening to these goddamn lying Republicans. That, that oil is being transmitted to Houston so into a, an international trade zone so it can be exported. And who makes money on that? Hmm? How does that drive down the price of gasoline or the price of uh, fuel oil or what have you? It doesn't. It doesn't. What's the expression uh, or, or the truism? Gas, uh, gasoline, oil, oil is a fungible product. That means it goes on the world market. There's no such thing as this is our oil. No, it isn't. It may be um, found here or Iraq or, or Nigeria, but it belongs to the world, and the world will fight and die and, 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 and beg and borrow and steal for it. So last night, it was Kansas City, Missouri. I wonder who it's going to be tonight or next week.
21 past the hour regarding the explosion in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Um, investigators will look into uh, whether or not Missouri, uh, what is it, MGE, Missouri Gas and Energy? Is, is, that, what, is that what it's called there, MGE? Gas and Electric? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Missouri Gas and Electric. Uh, no, it's Missouri Gas Energy, which supplies the uh, area. Missouri Gas Energy. Uh, the Missouri Public Service Commission, which <laughs> oversees utilities, <laughs> launched an investigation into the blast. The uh, commission chairman, Kevin Gunn, said preliminary information indicates that gas pipelines had been marked as required. Well, of course. So investigators are going to look at whether um, Missouri uh, Gas and Electric or Gas Energy, Missouri Gas Energy, followed state rules in responding to the gas leak. It was reported before it blew up, and it could take up to six months before a final report is issued. Yeah, uh-huh. Now, uh, Rebecca Craven, who's the program director for the Pipeline Safety Trust in Bellingham, Washington, said natural gas explosions are, quote, ridiculously common, end quote, with 37% of the most serious incidents caused by digging. She added, distribution lines are everywhere in every big city. They get dinged by construction folks or people putting in a new mailbox all the time. Yeah, well, I remember uh, as a kid finding out that, well, I was told, I, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but that the most polluted state in America was Ohio. And part of the reason for that was the discovery there in the uh, mid-19th century of uh, oil in uh, northwest Ohio. Uh, Ohio apparently used to be uh, uh, underwater. <laughs> well, it still is, in a manner of speaking. These uh, primordial seas and, and, and the uh, formation of oil. And apparently at one time in uh, northwestern and north central Ohio, you could just jam a pipe into the ground and tap into uh, lakes of oil. That's how Marathon Oil, I think, got its start. Marathon Oil began in Findlay, Ohio, if you can believe that. Anyway, that's what I was told. Um, and I remember as a kid growing up, No matter where you went in Ohio, th this is just the tricks of memory. I'm sure none of this is true. It's just something I, I have a sense memory of. I don't know if it's true or not, but it seems to me I could smell petroleum all the time when we played outside. All the time. That oily smell. <sighs> What's this? Marathon Oil got its start from the Yates Field in Texas. Okay, I stand corrected. But Marathon's headquarters, corporate headquarters, I think. I, I mean, there was a, the, the only skyscraper in Findlay, Ohio. It's about a 20-story building was the Marathon. And it had the, uh, remember when Marathon Oil had the, uh, the runner? Uh, who was the Greek god, the runner, Kathy? Who was that? Um, Mercury. Yeah, the Greek god Mercury. Or was that Roman god? That no, was Greek, wasn't it? Whatever. On top of the building. One of them was Hermes and then it was Mercury. Yeah, it wasn't Hermes, it was Mercury. But um, I can remember as a kid taking the Greyhound bus from Toledo to Findlay to go visit my grandparents. And Findlay, is, or Ohio, is so flat up there. I mean, it's just so flat that 25 miles out of Findlay, coming down... Route 25, I could see the, uh, that red Mercury statue on top of the tallest building for uh, miles around, on top of the Marathon Oil Building, Hermes. Mercury is Roman.
I don't know. It's the one, the the, the runner, the torch. <laughs> like, I don't, I really don't care. What am I talking about? Uh, to hell with it. We're going to, we're going to move on. So anyway, look for a natural gas explosion in your neck of the woods. If you are a Bob Kincaid or the people who follow his program or people who live in West Virginia, uh, you may wake up some so late some night and hear off in the distance this awful thundering roar that seems to be coming through the air but seems to be coming up th through the ground. And you'll be laying in your bed and you'll be laying there thinking, oh, damn, must be a very bad tornado coming. Maybe we better get into the storm cellar. And just about the time you can Complete that thought. This 80 foot high wall of sludge uh, that's a result of mountaintop removal has been traveling for about eight miles, and here it comes at you at 70, 80 miles an hour, and that's your last. the